Hey guys, I know you have reached to this video because you want to de-google your Android device. But what exactly is that and why is it important? So de-googling your Android device basically means that you won't be able to use any of the Google's apps and services. And the reason you would do this is mainly for privacy purposes. Although Google has vastly improved the security on Android, but still there are some things that they've done in the past and that has made people lose their trust in Google. It was discovered that the Google services still track their users even if the location history toggle was turned off. And even today there are still many lawsuits against Google which claims that it's nearly impossible to stop their constant surveillance. And if you search more on internet you can find many past news about Google related to their privacy concerns. And not just Google, companies like Facebook, Samsung, Apple have also done these kind of things in the past. And definitely that will make people worried about their privacy on their phone. So if you're also paranoid then let's go over to some of the methods by which you can stop these companies from tracking you. So the first method is toggling off all of the anti-privacy settings in your phone which are enabled by default whenever you buy a new phone and you don't even know about them. So the first setting will stop Google from tracking your activity on the web so that they can show you personalized ads. First of all on your Android device go to system settings then scroll down and tap on Google then tap on all services and here tap on ads and here you'll see the option of delete advertising ID just tap on it and delete the advertising ID and just go back and scroll down and then tap on personalize using shared data and here you can see all of the apps that are using your personalized data to show you personalized ads so just toggle all of these off so in the next setting we are going to stop Google from sending app usage data device details so once again within this Google menu on the top right tap on these three icon and here tap on usage and diagnostics now just toggle it off and with this setting turned off your app usage data, device details and diagnostics won't be shared. Now if you know Google also has a bad habit of keeping the history of everything that you have served which includes logging every site you visited, kind of videos you watched and where you have physically gone and which is pretty scary. So to stop this so go to settings then scroll down and go to security and privacy then again scroll down and here tap on privacy then again scroll down and here tap on activity controls and here you'll see the option of web and app activity just toggle it off and just below that you can also turn off the location history and youtube history as well now apart from that there's also a way to see what sites or apps have access to your google account so to see those apps that are connected to your google account again go to the settings app then just tap on google then again tap on all services and scroll down and tap on settings for Google apps and here tap on connected apps and here you can see third party apps and services that are connected to your Google account and as you can see in my phone there are 35 total apps and services and most of these apps and services I don't even use so you can select a particular app and you can also delete all of the connections that you have with the respective app just tap on it and confirm and that way you can revoke access to any app that you don't use anymore now if you're not satisfied with all of these settings yet then there's also an option of to delete your google account permanently however i don't recommend it but if you're still adamant you can try this option as well so to delete your google account permanently just search in the settings app delete your google account and then tap on it and here first you have to sign into your account if you have not already signed in and as you can see here if i scroll down and tick mark these boxes and then if I tap on delete account my account will be deleted and with that all of its data will also get removed. So now that we have turned off all of the anti-privacy settings the next step in de-googling your phone is to replace all of the Google apps and which is a little tough task because apps like Google Maps and Gmail are very important apps that we use in our day-to-day -day life. But don't worry I'm going to provide alternative solutions which are open source and free and you can use them without any problem. First of all let's start with the play store but before uninstalling play store make sure that you have already installed all of the paid apps that you were using in the google play store because after uninstalling play store you won't be able to install again all of these paid apps however there is no restriction for free apps so after uninstalling play store now you have to download aurora store and it works just like play store allowing you to install any of the free apps that you want the interface is amazing and you won't see any advertisement on the screen now another alternative for play store is f 
android as well now it doesn't provide all of the apps that you will see on play store but it does have ton of free open source apps so now let's talk about the gmail app as it's also a tough one since androids don't let you use your phone without connecting to your google account so just discarding gmail won't be a good option but however you can just keep the email alive and not use it instead you just use a different app and you can choose to use k9 mail which is more secure and it's also open source and its ui is just like gmail however of the old version now for the messaging app there are plenty of options you can use whatsapp or you can even use facebook but the most secure ones are signal and telegram and that is because the signal app doesn't collect your data except your phone number while telegram collects your phone number contacts and even your ip address but having said that both of them are really secure and comes with end to end encryption now talking about the gboard if you want to replace gboard then for that also there are plenty of options so to replace it you can try out floris board from Fdroid as this app is also open source and respects your privacy plus it's incredibly customizable and you can do glide typing as well so now let's talk about the next step and that is Google Chrome and replacing Google Chrome is the most easiest out of all the Google apps as you can get many great options to replace Google Chrome but we are talking about specifically for privacy and for that Kiwi browser is your best bet it's a lightweight browser and it removes all of the Google's web services and just keeps the structure and UI of Google Chrome as it is. But if you prefer to switch to a different browser altogether, then of course you can choose Brave browser or even Mozilla Firefox. So at the end, last but not the least, we have Google Maps. And this app also comes in the category of tough apps to replace. And the reason is because when it comes to maps, Google Maps is the best in the game. And depending on the area that you live, it could be the only option that you have. So if you're living in India, then Maples will be a very good choice for you as it is made by an Indian and for Indians. However, if you're living outside India, you can still use Maples, but I would suggest you go for Osmond. It's a very good option as it is based on open street maps and it works offline as well. And most importantly, they don't collect any data. However, in both of these apps, you might find a little lag as compared to Google Maps. So these were the most important apps that I thought I should also tell the replacement of these apps in detail but for the other google apps i'm gonna talk about the replacement app in brief so instead of google photos you can try out stingle photos and for google docs sheets and slides you can go for the ms office suite and for google keeps there are two great alternatives which have a similar ui you can try out quill note and notably and lastly if you want to replace the pixel launcher my top choice is nova launcher and finally for google drive i would turn to mega but wait these were only the two methods as there's a third best method as well to de-google your phone which is by installing a custom rom and while we're talking about custom roms you can check out this video that you'll see in the icard so that you can also know which is the best custom rom for your android device now keep in mind that this method is gonna be risky and there's a great learning curve to get it done but once you do it your phone is going to be completely free but anyway these were all of the ways by which you can de-google your android phone without switching to apple but having said that like this video comment down will you de-google your phone or not and of course don't forget to subscribe to geekified for more such amazing tech content and with that it's my time to sign off and i'll see you guys in the next video